The last couple of years have been really good for me and for Performa because the, the whole notion of giving purpose to space to thrive is not new at Performa. When Jeff and I started the firm in 95, we had the same premise that we have now. Um, and the whole thing then was, we knew that the industry of architecture um, was craving for a different and better way to bring that service to, to the marketplace. And, it, and it, had, it had much, much more to do and much, much more focus on um, what the owner is seeing, feeling, and wanting from their side of the table. And, um, and so we kind of built our practice on that premise. I would say over the course of the last two or three years, all we've done is really codified it um, and put it into words that resonate with people. Jeff and I were never able to, <laughs> but, um, but we always lived it that way. Um, and, uh, you know, look, look how the phrase starts, to give feeds right into my personal eye and purpose. You know, I, every business, every institution has a reason for being. We just want to know it so we can be better at what we do. First of all, we believe in ourselves. Um, we, we had an idea and we had the courage to take a leap. What was the idea? Practicing architecture, maybe a little better way. Um, Tell me more about that. Architecture and engineering. Well, like I said a little earlier, just kind of putting, putting yourself, understanding what's important to the owner, what their purpose is in our industry, at least at the time. Um, I would characterize it as monolithic and somewhat arrogant. Um, it was more about what architectural award companies could win rather than creating a transformational outcome for the client that you serve, no matter what the project is. So that's probably where this idea that there's a there's a quote from Jeff Kay in this Insight article that was a few years back. You've seen it and you yeah. obviously shared too that's not about the buildings per se, but what the buildings can do for the people inside of it. Um, is that just a, so th that, that all ties in, I guess, to your belief on influencing people and his belief on where people fit into all this and poof, I think it's are. what you prioritize. It, it, either you prioritize award-winning architecture or you prioritize the benefit of the client and the people they're in. Um, and we choose to prioritize people, their purpose, their function, their job, whatever it might be. Um, and oh, by the way, it doesn't mean we don't care about great architectural design. We're pretty good designers, but um, it generally comes second um, behind um, caring about our fellow humans more.